If you're doing what everyone else is doing, you're doing it wrong. I know one of the first things everyone's going to notice in the trailer is that there is a big color change. Well, Green Touch and I have been talking and we were able to kind of work out a deal to work together and uh, let me try out their racks. So it definitely gives me this opportunity to try out both brands. Uh, to see the compare contrast, to know what I like and what I don't like. Uh, one thing you guys know that like uh, my favorite color is green. That's why all my shirts are green. So I am really excited about the color. Uh, I like the green color. I like the way they look in the trailer. I'm excited about that. Uh, I love the organization. So enough on that subject. Uh, just know that I'm going to be running the green touch racks this year. Uh, as we go through the year, as I use them a little more, uh, I'll let you know what I think of them. I don't really want to give an opinion right now on the uh, trimmer racks. Uh, I can definitely already give you my opinion on the blower racks. Uh, these Green Touch blower racks, they are the way to go. Uh, these things are awesome. They're really tight against the wall. Uh, they're really convenient. I really like them. I already know I like the Green Touch. Blower racks way better than the equipment defender blower racks. The trimmer racks, I'm still not sure on. Uh, I just got these in here, just got them all set up. So I'm gonna run these for a while and then I'll kind of talk about the things that I do or don't like, if there is anything that I don't like. So enough on that, let's just kind of go through the equipment and I'll talk about uh, what I'm gonna be utilizing this year and uh, what equipment and where it's gonna be in the trailer. So this first piece of equipment is the Echo PE2620. This is an edger. It does have the curved shaft. Uh, the shaft is a little short, but uh, it definitely gets the job done. This is Echo's SRM2620 Weed Eater. I've been using this for a couple years now. Uh, this thing has been great. I really like the power that it has. And of course, uh, you know me, I'm using these Edge Pros. Works great with that also. This is the Shindawa T235. This is the same weed eater that I've been using for several years now. I think at this point, this weed eater is probably in the five to six year old range. Still starts, still runs. Uh, I just use it as a backup at this point. So one of the things I wanted to change up this year was the shelf. The shelf has always been kind of a catch-all. Uh, it gets really disorganized up there. So I kind of wanted to get a little more organized in the trailer. I always kept things like tools, spare oil, spare parts, uh, really anything I had, gloves, all this kind of stuff would just end up piled up on that shelf. Drove me nuts because I had to just dig through the shelf to find anything. So this year I cleaned it completely out and I went with the Milwaukee Packout system. So I'll show you my Packout system now and how I've got that to organize everything that was on the shelf. I knew this was gonna be easier than doing this in the trailer out here on the workbench, so I'll just kinda of go over the pack out system, how it works, what I've got in it, and how I utilize it to help me organize the trailer. So on the pack out system, these units, they actually lock together, and they have a release button here, and they'll slide. And as you can see, there's these little bites in here, and those lock these things together so that they all stay as one piece. So I ended up going with just three pieces. I went with the organizer. I think this is called the large toolbox. And then over here, you have the rolling toolbox. Right now, in the organizer, I've just got some screws, some bolts, some extra little parts that I might need. Uh, I also always like to carry some extra little Rainbird sprinkler heads just in case I hit one. I've actually got to get a couple more for this year. Uh, these things fit perfectly in here. And if you are a sprinkler guy and you have a lot of fittings and things like that, uh, this kind of situation would be perfect for you. Each one of these locks in so that once it's closed, do whatever you want and 
everything stays in its place. Now for the large toolbox, it does have a big handle on the top, which you can carry it with. Uh, it does have a handle on the side. Now this one doesn't quite work the same way on the inside. Uh, if you do grab it by the side, all this stuff's going to kind of shift around on you. But uh, I like to carry just a few screwdrivers, some wrenches, some uh, sockets, and then underneath, hammers, a couple other little random tools, kind of just a few things that I might need out on the job site, or if a mower goes down on me, I have an issue, something like that. I like to have a few tools with me to work on that on the spot. Before, I just had them all up on that shelf, and they would get disorganized. I couldn't find anything. So this got them all into one place and got it really organized. The last piece is this rolling toolbox. This thing has some big oversized wheels on it. You are able to extend this handle. And then on the inside, it's just a big open container. I've utilized this thing for things like an extra weed eater head. I've got some marking paint, some extra tie downs. I've also got this little compressor. They call it the compact inflator. This thing is pretty neat. It's perfect, compact. Use it for lawnmower tires, your trailer tires. It maxes out at like 120 PSI. So it can definitely work on a, in, in kind of a bind. Also keep some plugs for tires and the tools to do the plug with. So it's just a perfect place to get everything kind of in one place and have it very organized. So now on with the rest of the trailer on this side. I went with all of my blowers. I wanted to get those all in one place. So I did two of these green touch blower racks. And then down here I did put in this little cage that holds this hand blower. Uh, it does keep it up and out of the way so that the mowers can still get in here. But uh, you are able to lift this up and out of there. For me, I've just always liked that whenever stuff has its place, it has somewhere that it goes. You can always find that stuff, but uh, whenever it's kind of scattered about like the uh, shelf was up here, you know, you end up losing things, you end up putting them somewhere else, and then when you need them, you can't ever find them. I am still utilizing some of these little clips. These are those same clips from the older trailer videos to hold these tools. These are the things that uh, most people would put in their garage. Uh, they still work great to hold uh, tools up and out of the way. But I've always liked these little clips. They're cheap, they're easy to use, and uh, it's great that you can kind of hide tools away in tight little places and uh, have those tools with you when you need them. I'm still using my oil and paper towel rack on the door. It has worked really good holding my Red Armor oil and uh, keeping paper towels right there whenever I need them. I found this thing on Amazon uh, probably last year. Uh, put it in here, mounted it on the door because typically whenever I'm getting gas, I, I open this door to get the gas cans and it was nice to have the oil right there next to you whenever you were getting gas. I'm still running this 30 inch Toro push mower. This thing has lasted two seasons now, going into the third season. I have really enjoyed it. Now, I don't push mow a whole lot, but whenever I do, I like having the biggest push mower I can have to utilize in those backyards. I still pretty much uh, just pile all my gas cans kind of in one spot right here. Uh, this is like right in front of the 52 whenever it's pulled in here. This is still something that I can't stand that is disorganized, but I really do not have room in this trailer for the gas can racks. I'm going to be running these Skag V-Rides again this year. The uh, 36 is now probably, I guess, four to five years old. This will be my fourth season with the 36-inch uh, V-Ride, and I'm going into my third season with the 52-inch V-Ride. As you can see on these V-Rides, I'm also running grass flaps on them. I absolutely stand behind these grass flaps. I love these grass flaps. 
being able to control the flap with your foot is absolutely wonderful. These V-Rides have been holding up great over the years. I've had a few issues with the 52. Uh, they've all been carburetor issues or safety switch issues. Uh, they were all covered under the warranty that I had on that 52. So it didn't cost me anything out of pocket to get those fixed. So there it is guys, that is the trailer setup for 2018. As you can see, some things changed, some things stayed the same, but in all, it's all just great equipment that I can go out, I can make money with, and it's all about paying your bills, living your life, making the money, building your business. Whether you have a ton of equipment, a little bit of equipment, you know, you can get out there, you can start your own business, you can be your own boss and uh, make a lot of money out there. As always guys, I really appreciate you watching all my videos. I appreciate all the comments. If you have any questions, leave them down below and I will get back to you and I will answer it the best that I can. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit that thumbs up. You can also share this video. There's gonna be some other videos right over here that you can check those videos out. And if you've never subscribed to the channel, maybe hit that subscribe button and go ahead and subscribe to the channel.